Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Anoush from AndroidRoots.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to properly root the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. And this method, this root method, will work on every single Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge variant except the AT&T and Verizon users. So this will work on the T-Mobile variants, Sprint variants, US cellular, if you got it from Australia, Asia, India, China, Russia, UK, um, Mexico, it doesn't matter. This method will work on your device without any issues. Just AT&T and Verizon users, this method will not work. And also this method will not wipe your phone, so your phone will be fine. Um, but just in case something does go wrong, go and back up any important photos or documents just in case something does go wrong, but it's very unlikely anything will go wrong. So the actual very first step is we're gonna go and transfer a zip file onto our phone. So go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side, of course, to your computer. So we're just gonna go and plug this in and now let's go ahead and check out our computer. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna be doing is go ahead and open up your Windows Explorer or you know my computer app right there. I'll show you what it looks like if you're not too sure. So this is what it looks like, you know, just see your Explorer where you can go and search all your files. And then if you go ahead and go under computer, you're gonna go and see Galaxy S6 or whatever whatever um, you named your phone when you initially set it up. So mine's Galaxy S6. And as you can see, we have phone right there. So let me go and move it right there. So we can do a double, double click on it. And as you can see, you have all your phone files, alarm, DS, DCIM, which is your photos, whatever, you know. So what you're gonna be doing is go ahead and on the in the link in the video description, go ahead and download this zip file. It's a one link in the video description. Go ahead and pick up this file. It's called update dash super su 2.46.zip. Do not unzip it. We're just gonna go and transfer it over to our phone. So we're just gonna simply transfer it over and just copy it. And now if you'll go and look, you can see we have under our Galaxy S6 phone, you can see we have uh, update super su.246 right there. Um, so that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to our phone. Okay, so now back on our phone, you can go and unplug it for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and enter into download mode. So go ahead and power off your phone. So we're gonna go and tap on power off and it's gonna go and fully power off. So give it a few seconds. Okay, so once it is fully powered off, we're gonna press and hold the volume down home button and power button at the exact same time. So we're gonna press and hold volume down home button and power button and just keep pressing and holding it until you see warning on the screen. So you're gonna see warning on the screen. Now we're gonna press volume up to continue. And now you're gonna see downloading, do not turn off target. And now once again, go ahead and plug in your phone back to your computer via micro USB. Okay, so back on our computer, you're gonna be downloading two files. One, everyone is gonna be downloading Odin 3 version 3.10.zip. And everyone else is also gonna be downloading a version. Now, depending on what variant of the Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge you have, you're gonna be downloading a specific Torp recovery. And of course, I'll have both of these links in the video link down below in the video description. So let's go and pick this up. Everything you need, a written step by step guide as well will be, and all the files that you need will be linked down below in the video description. So here's my um, TWP recovery, and as you can see, it ends in .tar. So it should be named twerp and then .tar, just like that. So make sure you download the correct variant. Like I said, this will, this and this will be linked down below, just like every other file in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and first just unzip Odin. So we're gonna click on Extract All. And we are gonna go ahead, and let me adjust the camera, actually. Okay, and mine is just gonna default to Extract on my desktop. That's where my file's located, so I'm gonna click on Extract. And now you're gonna see a folder right here. So now there's gonna be folder named Odin3 version 3.1.0.6 um, right there. So we can go and double click on it. And you're gonna find a file, if I can move the camera or the uh, window, um, you're gonna find a file called Odin3 version 3.1.0.6.exe. So you can see it's application. We're gonna go and double click on that. And it's gonna open up this window. Let me go in just the window and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the screen that you get when once you go ahead and open up Odin 3 version 3.1.0.6. Uh, and right away, with your Galaxy S6 still in download mode and still plugged in, you're gonna go and see a blue box right here. Now, if you do not see this blue box, make sure you're using the official Samsung USB cable if you still have that. Uh, change your USB ports, and most importantly, go ahead, download, and install the Samsung USB drivers. And as always, I'll have a link down below in the video description as well. Um, so once you install those drivers, restart your computer, open up Odin, and you should now see the blue box. If you don't see the blue box, this method will not work because it doesn't hasn't uh, detected your phone. 
So now we're going to go and click on AP. And we're going to go and locate that twerp recovery, the TWRP recovery file uh, that we downloaded earlier. So mine is right here, as you can see, TWRP.tar. So we're going to double click on that. And as you can see, it automatically loaded it and it automatically checkmarked it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and click on start, but you have to be very quick and follow these instructions because if you miss this point, um, you won't be rebooted right into Torp recovery, um, which may lead to other issues down the road. So make sure you go ahead and pay attention to this um, so you don't uh, miss your chance as you have one chance. And of course, if, um, if you miss it and your phone reboots just normally, you can go and restart this method, this older method. Uh, just do it over again and you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, if you have any questions, just contact me via Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus anyway. Um, so now we're going to click on Start, and right after you click on Start, we're going to press and hold the Volume Up, Home button, and Power button. We're going to press and hold all three until you see the Torp Recovery logo. So you have to be very quick on this. So I'm going to try to be quick as possible. So I'm going to show you. So it's Volume Up this time, Home button, and Power button. So <clears throat> I'm going to click on Start and hold all three. Volume up, home, and power. Keep holding all three. And as you can see on Odin, it said pass and reset. So that means everything went as according. And just keep pressing and hold all, all three. And you'll be on this screen. So I'm going to go adjust my camera and I'll be right back. All right. Um, success. We got Torp recovery. So we have one last step and we're theoretically done. Um, so you can go and unplug your phone. You're safe. You're good. Um, as long as Odin said pass on it, you're fine. Now we're going to go ahead and select install. Go ahead and scroll down until you see the update super su 2.4.6.zip we transferred. And if you don't see it here, go ahead and check each folder because you may have transferred it into a folder. So we're going to tap on that and we're just going to go ahead and slide our finger to install it. And you can go and see each of the steps that it's doing. Okay, so it says done and it said successful. Now we're going to go ahead and select reboot system. And it's going to go and reboot our phone like normal, um, right back into the home screen. But now we're rooted. So I'll be right back after it's done booting up. Okay, so now we can go and unlock it. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as we originally, uh, start before we even started this root process. So nothing got wiped. Everything's exa exactly the same, except you are going to find a new app called Super SU. And now we're going to go and open up the Super SU app. And it's going to, we're going to say, uh, no thanks. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and install Titanium Backup from the Play Store. Um, and we're at, okay, if you get this little logo with T-Mobile, users will only get this. We're going to deny that. Um, if you do grant it, that lets T-Mobile know that you're rooted, which we don't want to let T-Mobile know. Um, you know, T-Mobile, if they know we're rooted, that's going to cause issues. So as you can see, it says denied. So leave that alone. If you, um, This will only pop up for T-Mobile users. So if you're not on T-Mobile, don't worry about it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tap on open. And I should get super, SU, uh, super user request. So now, of course, it says titanium backup. So, of course, we want to grant it. And there we go. Um, we are done. We have root access. And we also have Torp recovery installed. So we can go in and install any custom ROMs or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. So I'll tap on OK and OK and OK. And let me show you that we're actually, let me show you some proof right there. Um, root access check mark okay so that means we're rooted we have we also have torp recovery installed so that is how simple it is to your samsung galaxy s6 or s6 edge and we're also able to install any custom roms since we have torp recovery installed on our phone um, so it's that simple guys that is how you root the samsung galaxy s6 and s6 edge um, straightforward method and as always all the files links written step-by-step -step guide will be linked down below in the video description um, so go and check that out as well and if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button and click on that subscribe button as I'll be having a lot more content related to, directly to the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge in the very near future. So you, can go, you want to go ahead and stay subscribed for that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this rooting process, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which also will also be linked down below in the video description. Until next time, peace.